get that Matthew's family is afraid of losing him. He's a really great kid. They love him for who he is, not for what he can do. But they're keeping their son from living the life he wants to live because they're afraid. Afraid to let go, afraid to trust, afraid to take risks. So they're opting for the safe choice, the one that involves less chance of getting hurt, less chance of loss, but no chance of gain. They know their son wants a better life, but out of fear, they're unable to allow him that. They're denying him the chance to experience the joy and the excitement that comes with letting go and taking a risk. That's a shame and a waste. Now that is the biggest load of crap I've ever heard in my life. John McBain has the father of my grandkid working undercover for me. Undercover? On, on what? A drug sting. You know, I know how these drug thugs work, and if coal gets made by these people, then uh, my daughter and my granddaughter can be used for targets, you know, for retaliation. I mean, I, I was scared to leave them alone just now. I feel like I have to do something. Of course you do. I don't want anything big. Just yank coal off this operation before Star and Hope get hurt. Cole, call me as soon as you get this. I think I just did something really stupid. Thank you, Dorian. You saved the day. That's my job. Don't take it from here. Oh, wait, um, 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 why don't you let me handle it? After all, until recently, John McBain was married to my niece, Blair, and uh, I should be the one to talk to him. Why, well, I... I need you to do something else for me. Vicky has this crazy idea that I should be there when she announces her candidacy. Can you make some excuses for me and just get me out of it? He must have walked away from the bug. I can't believe Dory went straight to Lowell. One of the dealers is an informant. No, who's Lowell talking to? He's on the phone. Excuse me, Charlie. Vicky, Mayor Lowell's platform is anything but weak. Well, then why won't your guy just stand up with Vicky and promise not to run a negative campaign? Unless he's afraid that he can't win without it. Uh, fear is not an emotion we're familiar with at Lowell campaign headquarters. But then why doesn't he prove it? Yeah, I mean, if he's that confident... Um... Not only is he confident, he's absolutely certain that he's going to win by a landslide. So, yes, he will accept your challenge and raise it with a debate. Let's see if your platform can stand up to that. I welcome the challenge. You tell the mayor he's on. I will. Why, Chuck? You old devil. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. Come on. Let's see if we can't get that mayor to cry uncle. <laughs> you bought the book. You should give it to him. I told you, I can't talk to fish about this. Why not? Because I'm a guy, and guys don't give each other books like this. No, but it was your idea, and Oliver should know how thoughtful you are. <sighs> okay, it's time for some flan. Talking to Keaton. Uh, okay. I was just trying to protect you from my dad. Call me as soon as you get this, okay? I I want to make sure that I didn't mess things up for you. 